To reduce the spread of COVID-19, we've all been told to stay home as much as possible. And that has left downtown Phoenix practically deserted. And then that's where this little guy comes in. Early this morning, a full-grown javelina was caught on our security cameras just outside the 12 News studios in the heart of downtown Phoenix. So is this a sign of things to come? Well, we turn to the experts for the answer, and here's Team 12's Mitch Carr. We see them from time to time, javelinas wandering into the suburbs around the Valley of the Sun. Who can forget the sprinting javelina from Tucson just a few weeks ago? Or the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office video just last month of two javelinas stealing from a tractor supply store in Cave Creek and a deputy in hot pursuit. We got a couple runners running around back. But when a security camera outside the 12 News studios in the heart of downtown catches this little guy just trotting right past our windows, it begs the question, are we going to see more desert critters moving into town during this period of quarantine? It's not uncommon to see wildlife in urban areas, especially this time of year. We'll naturally see an increase in uh, wildlife sightings around mid-spring, end of spring. Kimberly Lewis is a vet tech at the Southwest Wildlife Conservation Center an organization dedicated to caring for and rehabilitating all sorts of wildlife. And there's less commotion in general with traffic, then they might be more enticed to come into neighborhoods, but it's not necessarily uncommon year round to see them. With pictures like this one of a coyote hanging out on top of someone's fence in Ahwatukee back in May, Lewis says it's always a good idea to keep your distance if you encounter wildlife at your back door. Let them be. That's step one is to keep your distance. Try not to get involved. So like this scene of Mesa firefighters rescuing a baby javelina in December shows, wildlife where we live is nothing new. Before you intervene with any wildlife, give us a call and we'll direct you on the best uh, plan of action if we need to send out a qualified individual to rescue the animal or just kind of let it be. Mitch Carr, 12 News.